Welcome to this video presentation on discrete systems. Um, basically in this presentation we're going to give you a very brief overview about how discrete systems work. Um, we're also going to introduce a couple of other concepts. The first is a, the concept of a signal flow diagram which is used to describe how a discrete system works and also um, the uh, difference equation which is a mathematical expression used to describe how a discrete system works. So let's start off anyway. Um, the first thing about a discrete system is it is um, something which will modify a discrete signal. So let's first of all just show our discrete system as uh, this box, this black box. And the discrete system has an input and that input is a discrete signal which you should know by now is just simply a sequence of numbers so we'll show the sequence of numbers like this so the first input we'll say is 1.1 second input might be 3, 4, minus 6 and 8 okay so that's our uh, input to our discrete system which is generally labelled as x of N. So that's a convention that's that's followed. Um, so our discrete system will take this sequence of numbers, each number one by one, manipulate the number. So the discrete system will manipulate the number to give you uh, an output. Uh, and the output is also just going to be a sequence of numbers. So it's a discrete signal is the output. So that discrete signal output is labelled as y of n, another convention that's followed. So x of n is the input, y of n is the output. Uh, this is a very common convention to use when dealing with discrete systems. Now we're just going to do a quick example uh, on discrete systems. Um, and in the example we're going to assume that our discrete system is a very basic system which just amplifies the input. Um, and an amplifier for a discrete system is something which basically just multiplies all the input values by some scalar. So we'll choose a value of 2 in this case. So this discrete system is simply going to amplify or multiply the input samples by a value of 2. So let's just do a quick example of that. So our first input, this is our first input, which should be mathematically represented by x0. That first input is pushed into the system. The system manipulates it. In this case, it's just going to amplify it by 2. So that 1.1 1 .1 will be multiplied by 2, and the output will be 2.2. .2. So a very basic system. That 2.2 .2 is our first output. 2.2, .2, which would be mathematically represented as a 0. OK, so let's clear that and move on to the next input. So the discrete system takes each input sample one by one. So the next input sample is 3, which would be labeled as x1. And I'm just going to go back over here and record my first output, which was 2.2. .2. Um, so this is the next input would be 3, and that 3 will be pushed into the system. The system will again manipulate it by amplifying it by 2, so the next output will be 6. And that 6 will be pushed down and become the next output. Sorry. The next output will be 6, and that will be labelled as Y1. Um, now the, the, so the next input will be a value of 4. So 4 will be the next one, and that 4 will be pushed into the system. So I'm, I hope you can see what's happening here. 4 will be pushed into the system, so the next output will be 8, and that would be y2. And the next output will be minus 12, and the last output will be 16. Okay, So this sequence of numbers now is the output signal, which is all these numbers together combined will be represented by yn. So let's just clear that. I'll just re-record the answers in yellow just so we have them. 8 minus 12 and 16. So that's our output. Okay, so that's uh, 
very quick example of a basic discrete system. Now, this view of the system, we haven't given any detail of how the system works. We've described how it works, but essentially it's a black box. We have an input and an output, and we don't know what's happening inside um, other than the description that I've given you. And now, these discrete systems can become quite complicated. Um, and uh, one way that we use to describe the discrete system is using something called a signal flow diagram. So, signal flow diagram. So that's the next thing that we're going to talk about. And I'm going to give you an example of a signal flow diagram that represents or describes this system. So the signal flow diagram, we write the, the input x of n, and we show that like so. And that's travelling into the system. And in our case, the system will just multiply by a value of 2. And after we multiply by 2, that's sent to the output, y of n. OK, now that's a very basic signal flow diagram, but it introduces the concept of what, how a signal flow diagram works. It's sort of a pictorial representation of the discrete system. And it provides a nice conceptual view of the discrete system as well. Um, so basically, if you think about it, here's our black box view. Um, the signal flow diagram view sort of shows what's inside of the box or give some visualization of what's going on inside of the box. So let's just move on to the the final thing I'd like to show you in this presentation. Um, the last thing I'd like to talk about is a difference equation. And a difference equation is basically a mathematical expression which describes the system. So up here in the signal flow diagram we have our nice visual representation of the system. A difference equation um, is a mathematical description of the system. So y of n, this is our difference equation, y of n is equal to, so the output is on the left hand side. It follows a, a, a type of co programming convention where the output variable is on the left hand side. And it's equal to two times the input. So again, nice simple expression. Uh, this expression is referred to as a difference equation. Now the great thing about the difference equation is once we have it for our system we can determine the output of the system for different values of n by substituting for n. So we have this variable n in the equation. And if I want to determine what y0 is I substitute n for 0 and that's equal to 2 times x of 0 and if we look back over here at our input, that value there is x of 0. So my output is going to be 2 times that, which will be 2.2, .2, which is our output that we get over here. Okay. Uh, similarly, I could do it for the next sample. y1 is equal to 2 times x of, well, this time n has been substituted for 1. So we'd have to substitute it over this side of the equation as well. So that's 2 times x of 1, which is, looking over here, x of 1 is 3. So 2 times x of 1 is going to be 6. So the difference equation can be solved by substituting for different values of n. Now, n represents the sample number. And the sample number can only be an integer value. So when solving this difference equation, you can only substitute n for an integer. So 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. OK, so let's just uh, summarise. Um, our discrete system is basically something that takes a discrete signal as its input and will produce a discrete signal as its output. We have a signal flow diagram which is a visualisation or a pictorial representation of the system which describes how the system behaves. We also have another representation of the system, which is referred to as a difference equation. So each of these, the signal flow diagram and the difference equation, are two views of how the system works. And it's important that you get comfortable with both. And towards the end of this series, you should be able to take a difference equation and draw out a signal flow diagram, or take a signal flow diagram and determine the difference equation. You should be able to switch between both views. 
Okay, so thanks very much for your attention and I'll see you in the next presentation.